Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Tales from the Other Side. And this is a new horror anthology um, from a collection of directors focusing on three kids out for Halloween. They show up to Scary Mary's house. They decide to go in because she doesn't seem that scary, right? She gives them a whole bunch of candy because stranger danger doesn't exist here. And she tells them really unnerving and inappropriate stories for a bunch of kids. And not once do these kids think this is weird. Until the very end where st stuff goes sideways. And no spoilers, but like, you probably could have saw that one coming. And you have Rosalind Gent uh, Gentil, who plays Mary... And she hams it up, especially towards the end. Like, she's going full-blown, like, absurdist performance. And it's just, like, it is way too much. But so is this whole entire movie. So it kind of fits, I guess. Um, but this is such a low-budget movie. The sound design in this is horrible. Like, the music is so melodramatic, but also so loud. And you can barely hear some of the dialogue over it. Um, the dialogue often sounds like it's coming out of a tin can. And it's a struggle to even tell what they're saying at points. So that's an issue. From a technical standpoint, the low budget really shows. Do they get creative with the low budget? At points they do. There's a Krampus versus Elf story where it's just two dolls and it's just like quick single frame shots of them playing out this battle that's being told by this woman to her kids, which is being told to another set of kids by... Scary Mary, and you're just like, what's with all the framing within the frame narratives in this? Does this film, does every single one of them think that they're Wes Anderson making Grand Budapest Hotel? It's like, <laughs> which is a frame narrative within a frame narrative within a frame narrative within a frame narrative. And that's what this feels like it's trying to do, and it's so, con in this, these short stories, they're so confusing to keep up with exactly how these are being told. There's one particular one at the very beginning where it's just like, what the hell's going on here? Who's really telling this story? What's going on? And, like I mentioned, the budget's so low that, like, they, it gets cheesy, but, like, nothing's particularly scary. It's all very cliche and overdone kinds of stories. Um, I did personally appreciate seeing Vernon Wells pop up, a.k.a. Re um, Wes from The Road Warrior. So, like, random Australian guy here out of nowhere. Um, but these stories, none of them are interesting enough or do anything unique enough to stand out, and they all suffer from the low-budget, low-quality of filmmaking and from really flustered and horribly structured narrative storytelling that just leaves you confused on what it actually is going on. In the end, all these characters are super dumb. None of them think critically ever. And you're just kind of left with like, what the hell is this? And this didn't do it for me. I've seen plenty of horror anthologies and this definitely is towards the bottom of the barrel. But those are my thoughts on Tales from the Other Side. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.